Hello again, and welcome back to my senior project. So, right now, we're going to be making our lunch for Spanish Day. Um, so what this is, is a, uh, it's sort of a quiche type thing with caramelized, uh, caramelized onions, some potatoes, um, and olive oil and any spices that you want to add. Uh, I do not actually have a uh, Pyrex dish or anything that's small enough for what I'm trying to do. So I'm actually going to be using a cupcake pan. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So first things first, uh, I'm going to be using four eggs, a potato, a red onion because it's caramelized onions and red onions are the sweetest for that, uh, some olive oil, a little bit of butter to grease up the pan, um, salt and pepper, and uh, preheat the oven to 400. So that's where we are. So first things first, um, you need to chop up the onion and get that caramelized. And it's going to be the same sort of method that we had before, um, where we're going to just make it into thin slices, but we're not going to dice it. <clears throat> I have a dog, and she's trying to get to an onion that I just dropped on the floor. You want to say hi, Kara? Say hello. Okay. No, 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 no. You cannot have this. Sorry about that. She's been uh, keeping me company while I make all the food because she thinks she's getting some. You're not going to get any onions. Maybe some potato. Okay, so these are all chopped up now. Um, and so it's now just time to caramelize them. So I'm going to put them in a pan uh, with a little bit of olive oil and start to caramelize them. And that should be good then. So let's head on over to the stove. I have onion all over my hand. <clears throat> go over here. There you go. And then I'll grab the olive oil. Let me wash my hand really quickly. I didn't cry this time while I was uh, cutting them up. I'm kind of surprised. Okay, so just a little bit of olive oil in there. Let's spread that olive oil all out. <clears throat> Let's let it heat up a tiny bit. There we go. And now we'll put the onions in. Sort of let those sit in there for a second. And put a tiny bit more of olive oil just on top, just to sort of get them going. There we go. <clears throat> just gonna let these sit for a second. And of course, to make them a little bit sweeter um, and to help sort of the caramelizing process, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of sugar on. That was, I did that yesterday and it turned out really well um, with the French onion soup. It definitely added a good amount of flavor. So just like two little pinches of it, not too much. You don't want to make actual caramel. Okay. Well, while these are going, we can start to skin the potato, actually. I will... I'll leave you there. Actually, I'll turn these down a bit, and then you can come with me over to the sink. I'll just come over and move them around every once in a while. There we go. That was from our deviled eggs this morning. So we're just gonna skin the potato.
And there's our potato. <clears throat> Unfortunately, ran out of paper towels, so the napkin's gonna have to do. <clears throat> okay, and then those onions should just about be done. So let's go over here. I'm gonna put the potato down right here. And we'll get back to that in a second. <clears throat> These onions though, oh they smell very, very good. Turn them back, back on high. That way, uh, we'll get, they'll be done a little more quickly. That beef that you heard, by the way, was the oven. So I remember we put it at 400. So in some of this I am going to make up along the way because usually you'll make it in a Pyrex dish like I said, but unfortunately I don't have one of those. Um, and so I will be trying to make it in the cupcakes. We'll see how that turns out. I think it actually should be pretty good. Um, it'll be very similar to a Pyrex dish, it'll just be smaller. And that way you can actually, if you have you know friends over on Spanish day, then you can, uh, you can sort of serve them each individual um, little quiches. I'm going to call them quiches. They're called tortillas for some reason, but I'm going to call them qui quiches because it's like a quiche. There's, what, egg in it? There's onion, potato. Potato is, potato is definitely a quiche ingredient. Okay, so these are pretty done. There's a couple that I'd like to be more done, but It'll do for now, and I think in the oven they'll be they'll get a little bit softer. So that's that. These for now, it's fine to leave them uncovered if they get a little bit uh, colder, just because we are going to be putting them in the oven. Um, now for this potato, uh, we want to grab another plate. We're gonna we're going to thinly slice it. Um, you don't really want chunks. You more want slices, almost like the caramelized onions, but this time for a potato. Uh, and we actually want to crisp them up a little, just because that way it'll sort of bring in a little more flavor to the uh, to the quiche. Um, I definitely think crisp up potato tastes better than just raw potato. So I'm going to put them in the same exact pan. Can turn this fan off. I'm gonna put them in the same exact pan because that those caramelized onions were just in there, so that flavor will get onto those uh, potatoes. I think it'll be good. So let's turn this on again. Okay, pan's already nice and warm. Then we'll just dump these potatoes in. So then these we're not going to leave on for nearly as long as we did the uh, the onions, just because we don't want them that that done. But we do want to get them sort of moving around. I'm going to put a tiny bit of salt on them. Brings out a little moisture. Sort of like french fries. Alright, and I think that's just about good. We really didn't want to do them too much. We just wanted a little bit to get sort of that raw potato taste out of it. So there we go, we have that.
them back on this plate here. Perfect. Now let's go back on over here. Now it's time for the eggs. So, just crack the normal eggs. Now that we have the uh, the eggs all sort of mixed up, we're gonna actually dump those uh, onions and the potatoes both in there. So let me just put this fork to good use. So you don't need to pour all of them in. Um, I'm gonna do about half the potatoes for right now. We'll add some more in a second. And so we'll just mix these all up. And then um, we want to do the same thing with the onions. I'm going to add most of these just because they have sort of boiled down a little. Um, there we go. And I'm just going to do all of them. Mmm. Smell really, smells really, really good. Okay, and then I'll add the rest of the potato, why not? Hopefully this fits in uh, some of these things here. Okay, so it's all mixed up. Now I gotta figure out a way to get them into the cupcake thing. It's a whole lot easier when you have a Pyrex dish because then you can just dump the entire thing. But with this one, <clears throat> you can't really do that. So I'm going to take some butter and I'm going to spread it all around inside of here because I actually don't have any ham uh, available to me since I did not buy that with my budget. Um, but that's okay, because butter works just as well, if not better, because I have that butter taste. Oh wow, I have a giant chunk of butter in there. That's not good. Okay. <clears throat> so, I mean, just mix it around. Um, if you're using a Pyrex dish, it's a lot easier because it's a flat thing. Um, or just a baking a baking pan, which again I do not have. Okay, well this was a little bit too much butter for me, but for right now I think this is good. Uh, yeah, let's get a little bit of bottom. So that's that is six uh, cupcakes worth of this. I think there's more than six here. So let's try this. I'm going to make a giant mess. I can just come. So I'm gonna put you there. Hopefully it don't rock too much. There we go. Okay. And let's try to fit this. There we go. Look at that. One down. Slight mess. Already made. Okay. Two down. No mess. Man, I'm rocking this. Three. A little bit of a mess. Four. Larger mess. This is going to be bad. Okay. Five. Oh. Missed it a little bit. And six. I have a lot of potato left over in this. That's okay. See? So. I cut up a little bit too much potato. It's okay, because I actually, you know what, this one doesn't have enough. So I can add a tiny bit to that. I can add a tiny bit to this. And I can add a little bit to this. There we go, look at that. I just got just about everything out of the uh, last little tiny bit to this one. Okay, everything is out of the bowl. That's pretty good. I didn't make that much of a mess. I'm proud of myself.
Okay. Great. Um, so now we have this. Our oven is preheated, so we're just going to stick this in the oven, and I don't know for how long, um, because again, it's in a cupcake pan, which is not sort of standard. Um, so I'm just going to keep an eye on it, and I will let you know, after I figure it out, how long this should stay in for. It shouldn't be long, especially since the oven is on 400. I'm going to put it on the middle rack. Those look really good. Okay. And I will see you when I see you. And I will let you know how long it's been. Okay, so it's been about six minutes since I last saw you. And these are looking pretty good. Uh, the eggs in them are bubbling a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take them out and flip them. Um, why am I doing this? It's a good question. Uh, mostly because I want to make sure that all of the eggs are done. Um, because I know that all the ones on top... Uh -oh. One second. All the eggs on top are uh, just about done. But the eggs that are in the middle are going to still have to have uh, some cooking. So, how am I going to do this? That's a great question. I have no idea. So, I think I'm going to grab a couple plates. This may or may not work, uh, but we will see. And I'm really hoping it does work. So yeah, so if you see here, this is actually still pretty mushy. Um, and you can see the raw egg sort of bubbling up there. So I want to... You know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to flip them. I'm just going to poke them. I want this raw egg to sort of come up and uh, get cooked, so I'm just going to actually mix them around a little bit inside of here, um, and that way the cooked stuff is on the bottom and the raw egg is on top. Uh, and you can see around the sides of it, it definitely is cooked, uh, so this middle part really is the only problem that we're having. So And also these the potatoes, uh, after cooking them in that for a little bit, they got a little hard but now in the oven they're actually crisping up which is nice um, definitely something that I wanted to happen so there we go so that all that raw egg is now sort of on sitting on top of it um, as much as I can get it to sit on top and I'm gonna put it back in for probably another five minutes um, maybe a little bit less I'm going to open this and leave you there. Okay. So put those back in. Um, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna let those sit for probably another three, three, four minutes, five minutes, um, and then I'll check back in with you. So it's been another five minutes, and uh, they're looking good. You can see everything sort of bubbling around it. Um, and the eggs that I had sort of pushed up to the top, I believe, are now done. So I'm going to take these out. Oh, it smells great. Let me close the oven up real fast. There we go. And then let me double check the... Uh, rinse this off real fast. Let's see if there's really any raw egg left. Not really. I think it's mostly just uh, just juice from the rest of the potatoes and everything, um, and onions. But yeah, so it's nice and nice and crispy on the top. A little bit uh, sort of more loose in the middle. And that's that. So leave it in the oven probably for about ten to ten to twelve minutes, depending on how good your oven is um, on 400 and that's just about it these smell great I'm sure they're going to taste amazing um, and so great that's how you make your Spanish lunch I will see you for dinner bye if you'd like to see the recipe I have the entire recipe down in the bottom in the description along with uh, the ingredients and everything that uh, you have to do to prepare it um, also 
Follow my Instagram at college underscore eats 101. Uh, I have pictures of all the food and what each of the meals actually is. Uh, so thanks again for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.